Next up, we have Andrew Shepard. Come on up, Andrew. Also running for state rep. Thank you, Paul. All right, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here this evening. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'd like to give a little bit of an introduction about myself, some of my, my background, and, and, uh, and tie it into the main issue for why I'm running. So my name is Andrew Shepard. I'm running for state representative of the 1st Middlesex District. Born and raised in Townsend, I graduated North Middlesex Regional High School. Uh, following my graduation from high school, I, I earned my Eagle Scout Award, building the Police Officers Memorial behind the Townsend Police Station. At leaving high school, I went to the University of Massachusetts Amherst. While I was at UMass, I earned a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in resource economics. Now, a big part of my college experience was working on the Amherst Fire Department as the deputy chief of the, the student volunteer force. And, and I learned a lot you know, in that leadership role that, that I think relates to, to being a successful state rep. And, and that's leadership under pressure and working in a diverse set of teams. Because you know, when, you, when you're at the station or, or you get called in and it's the middle of the night or early in the morning, you got to work with what you got. You got to work under a time pressure, and you got to work with whoever's there, whether they're the people that are on your shift or, or some of the people that are in the room with you when you when you go to solve the the car accident or the medical emergency. Now, another big part of my college experience was was working with State Representative Sheila Harrington and, and Governor Charlie Baker. And with Representative Harrington, I worked in the Groton office dealing with constituent uh, issues and helping solve you know local problems. And then in, in, her, in her Boston office, helped her uh, legislatively doing research and, and, uh, and navigating that environment. And, and in the following summer, working on, with Governor Baker, you know, I kind of saw the other side of the coin. You know, from the executive level, what does it take to have a good, a good and a strong legislature, uh, a, a legislative uh, representative? Now, following my time in college, I came back home to work in the family business. Uh, we do construction and agriculture. Uh, on the construction side, I project manage about 3,000 feet of municipal water line. And on the agriculture side, we do about 300 acres of hay and, uh, and raise about 1,000 turkeys. And uh, John, I'm not sure where this will be going, but you know, in the, in the turkey realm, I, I'm the guy that's in the turkey pen, you know, sun up to sun down, you know, shoveling the turkey shit. So <laughs> I, I'm ready to go down to, to Beacon Hill and shovel, shovel some turkey shit for the district. Now, a, another big part of, of my time being home and so, something that's really you know, impacted me is, um, is owning my own business. And, and when I came back from school, I was fortunate I was able to purchase my own water jug company, Bayberry Hill Water. And you know, owning my own company, I, I really feel that a lot of the legislators that we have down on Beacon Hill just, just don't get it and don't understand you know, what's going on in the economy. And you know, I have two big examples from that. And, and one is the other day I, I put front tires on my water delivery truck, just two tires, and it cost me 600 bucks just for two tires. And uh, the other thing, you know, we go down to our spring in Western Mass, we take the tractor trailer. You know, when I started campaigning down in Springfield, diesel was $5 a gallon. On my way over in Townsend, diesel was $6.50. Now, the tractor trailer, it's got a 300 gallon tank. You know, at that rate, at five dollars a gallon, that's fifteen hundred bucks to fill that truck up. And, and I'm lucky that I just have to go, you know, once a week, once every other week. But your Amazon packages, you, these trucks that are out there every day on the road, you know, this fifteen hundred bucks, two thousand dollars, that's getting passed right on to the consumer. And, and these people sitting down in Beacon Hill with with travel reimbursement, you know, they're not they're not seeing it and they're not feeling it. So. You know, it's a pleasure to be here, everybody, and introduce myself. Happy to take any questions, and um, and thank you for your time. Thank you, Andrew. Um, do you have any signs? Andrew, they're coming. Okay.